Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the annual Legit Brew Reviews Academy Awards. We have many awards on the table and have a wonderful show planned. All of you are looking spectacular tonight. And without further ado, let's throw it over to the host of the evening, Matt and Trevor. And welcome to the fourth annual Category Awards. We do, do gestures with our hands when we're saying things, and we're doing them, doing them tonight. <laughs> welcome, everyone. We are so glad to see everyone in attendance tonight. Yeah, you all look very spiffy. Everybody looks spiffy, and the the ladies look nice. Uh, everybody looks looks super great, and we're excited to be here for the now fourth installment, as we said, of the Academy Awards. Yeah, we have some great awards on the table tonight, as well as we have a pitcher on the table tonight. Yes, sir. And we'll be reveal, revealing momentarily. Blah, 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 blah. Already, already messing up already, <laughs> right? Wouldn't be an award show without a couple of fumbles. No, it wouldn't. That's, At least that's, we aren't slapping anybody. Yet. Right? That's live internet for you, right? <laughs> uh, we want to thank everybody for coming out in the chat and showing love in the chat. Yeah. Uh, we always appreciate it. As you can see, Hi, we do everybody. have our correspondence in the chat Hi, as well. Hi, everybody down there in the down chat. Down there in the chat. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I'm ready. If do you have any any other uh, anything you want to address before we get started with tonight's events? Um, well, I have a couple people to thank, but I'm not winning any awards tonight. So, oh well, if at any part in the award show you feel the need to say those <laughs> those thanks, you just you just go ahead and let nah, me know, and nah, we'll. There's no one that no one brought us to this point. Right. And, our, and our, there's no one that brought us forward seat seven seasons. I don't have anyone to thank. No, nope, nobody. <laughs> nobody at all. <laughs> no. How we made it here is a miracle. Complete mystery. <laughs> anyway, right. um, yeah, but I will introduce the beer that we're going to be pouring into the pitcher tonight. And since we figured it was in a celebratory manner, okay. it's only beneficial. Yeah, that we do the champagne of beer. The champagne of beers. More highlight. More highlight. You guys see in the back? Yeah. I don't know if Dave, Dave, Dave doesn't have you his can't glasses see it. on. It's Miller Highlight. It's Miller Highlight, Dave. Jeez. He, t- he takes the worst times to take his glasses off. Okay, ready? Anyway, ready? This here is we for go. You. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, wow. That was. That sounded like our opening. Uh, you know yeah, how it goes. Know how it goes. Yeah. Oh, uh, do, you want, do you want to purr it? Um, oh, you can pour pour that one since you're already uh, you're already locked and loaded and ready to pour. I get the first pour. First pour. First pour. Here, let's. Uh... First pour. First pour. First pour. Right, there we and go. And as this, we might have to put another another one in here as yeah. we sort of go. Kind of, you, know, you guys know the drill. Yeah, you remember how we did last year with the PBR, where we just kind of keep filling it up as we need. And oh yeah, I know we're gonna uh, need more in this. Yeah. One. Okay. Well, here I'll take that one if you want to just go ahead and pour the next. Yeah. One. Yeah. Um, do you want to go ahead while I pour this picture? Do you want to go ahead and get into the awards? Sure. Let's do that. We have our handy dandy little uh, thing that we don't want to knock over here. <laughs> Please, I don't want to knock over anything tonight. Right. That's the only, with our table space. I'm just like, I, if we can get through the night without knocking something the over. The seasons get higher and the table space just seems to get smaller and smaller. <laughs> I don't know uh, who's in charge of that, that area. What but, do you think? One more? Yeah, maybe one more. One more, one might, more guys. Might do it. One more guy. Can you get one more chance? Can we get a, a one more? One more? Am I hearing it? Am I hearing it? Uh, it's, it's a little weird. It's faint. It's faint, but they, they must be really far back there. There's at least like two people out in the crowd. That's um, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We, we switched. Um, we switched venues. We're at a different venue. If you remember last year, there was no air condition. Oh, yeah. Um, there was no air condition last year in no, the feels, venue we feels, were in. It feels great. Tonight. So it feels nice in here tonight. So we, we uh, appreciate the... Uh, look at this, man. Imagine. The, wow, look at that. That Whoa. is that is, that is a nice, nice, nice boy. There you know, we go. a fun fact. Oh, okay. Fun George fact. Washington's favorite. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> fun fact. Um, I've never ordered a pitcher of beer. I can't oh. say that I have either. You know, no, never no. like at a sports yeah, bar or a bowling no. alley or... Yeah. Last time I went to the bowling alley, though, I did see somebody order a, pit, a pitcher of beer. I think it was did you like, get excited? I thought it was cool. Like, Ooh, I haven't done that. It looked good. Right? <laughs> Except mm-hmm. it was probably like Bud Light or something. It was very pale. Oh, but, yeah. I, but still, I was like, that looks like a good right. idea. I think I should do that someday. 
anyway. All right, well, um, I guess we can pour these up and then we can get into the best comment of season seven. Here, hold your, hold your, uh, your glass. <laughs> hold my, hold my picture. Hold my, <laughs> hold your out there. Hold my, hold my, there we go. There we yeah. go. All right. Oh. All right. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It, it does. It does the hard pour for you, Brian. Brian is I'm gonna like stop. losing his I'm going to stop mentioning Brian. Brian. Brian doesn't ever talk about us. We talk about him all the time. I'm just not mentioning you, Brian. Brian. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, no. See? I knew it. Oh no, the awards! Oh, no, the awards. Oh. Hold on, guys. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna. Yeah. All right, and we're back. Sorry about um, that. We, we anyway. lost the easel. The easel was not working out. It was a very budgeted easel. The easel is kaput. So no more easel. Anyway, I um, will. I will though. But yeah, let's uh, let's mm. let's let's drink yeah, drink yeah. this Cheers. this tasty tasty boy. Here we go. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Oh yeah. So cold. So good. <clears throat> okay. Oh yeah, we're doing a thing. Huh? Oops. Okay. So we before we were so rudely interrupted by the easel fail, um, we were about to introduce the best comment of the season. Ooh. Now we do have lots and lots of fantastic comments, and this was not an easy decision to have made as well, um, just because we do have so many great comments that come across from each and every one of you that take the time out to leave us a comment. And we gracious, graciously, we're bringing that back again, apparently. <laughs> uh, we, we thank you very much for uh, taking the time out to comment. It does mean a lot, and it does show interaction with the show, and we appreciate it. <clears throat> but anyway, on to the best comment of season seven, and the award goes to... Havoc V, and his comment was, wait, are these the two wolves that are inside me? <laughs> they just might be. They might be, Josh. That's a shout out to my buddy Josh out there. Congratulations on the best comment of season seven, sir. You. That was our uh, Scary Wolves episode. Yeah, it was. If you haven't seen that, go back and check that one out. That was a good one. It was a good beer. Super good. All right. Um, Matt, I'm going to let you go ahead and take a drink there. I yeah. will bring along... Come along, <laughs> bring along the next uh, award for the night. It's the um, oh, the best brewery of season seven. Oh wow! This is a hard one. Always um, kind of hard to narrow it down. But this season we kind of went with uh, the brewery that we feature most on the show. Mm -hmm. um, unintentionally, I, mind you. Unintentionally, just sort of happened. Yeah. Um, and then there was another brewery that mm -hmm. we featured just as many times, but those beers were sent to us. Yeah. Um, from our good buddy Wayne. Shout out to Wayne. Shout out Wayne. Um, I think he's somewhere in the back. He oh, might yeah, be, he's I probably... think he's getting nachos or something. Yeah. <laughs> the nachos are good here, I hear. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, generally hard to narrow it down. Um, not so much this season, but the award for the best brewery of season seven goes to Ooh. Pontoon Brewing. Pontoon Brewing! Yes, sir. Hey, congratulations. They're doing great things out there, and uh, we love them. Yeah, absolutely. That is super cool. And they were definitely a very eventful brewery to have experienced uh, this season. I think we've had stuff by them before, but this season we did have a lot, if, if I do remember right. Yeah. If we have ha had anything before by them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, um, let's move on. Move on down the line. Mosey on moving, to the next door. Just moving, just moving. <laughs> That's what they say. Okay, well, the next award goes to the best crew member of Legit Brewer Reviews. Oh, oh, I am getting an award tonight. And <laughs> that could go to any of the Legit Brewer Review crew. Um, that being said, I mean, me and Trevor aren't really um, exempt from this, so we could potentially win this award. Um, but yeah, we're going to find out who it goes to uh, after this commercial break. So it starts cold and stays cold. You got any ice? Get real cold. All right. 
right, and we're back, and we are going to find out who the best legit brew review crew member is. Make sure his tie's on straight. Look at it. Look at it. He's all excited over there. Okay, well, I think we've waited enough time. Um, after this next commercial break, we're going to go ahead and find out who the crew member is <laughs> for best legit brew review crew member. All right. Come on. Here they come, screaming across the sky. It's lots and lots of jets and planes. All right, guys, and we're back. Thank you so much for patiently waiting to find out who the best legit brew reviews crew member is. Stop making me laugh. Um, <laughs> and that moment has finally come right now. After this brief commercial break from uh, one of our not sponsors. We don't even have <laughs> to celebrate our anniversary. We'll send you all five original Muzzy languages in one program. Okay. All right. Um, we've, we've, we've lollygagged enough. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and go ahead. And the award for best legit brew review crew member, almost knocked the damn thing over, uh, goes to the LBR legal team, Paul, Jeff, and Kyle. Uh, shout out to you guys. You guys. You guys have kept us out of a number of different situations, and without you, who knows if we would have even seen season seven. Um, Trevor sends his regards to you guys as well, um, and um, yeah, congrats! Congratulations, guys! Oh my god! I know it's a new oh. pencil, dude. I rented these. <laughs> I'm not gonna get my retainer back now. Oh no! Oh my god. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Uh, they said don't send it back smelling like beer. I should have known. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, congrats, guys. Must feel wonderful. Yeah. I feel like uh, Bruce Almighty when he didn't get that <laughs> promotion. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the next award. I like how malty this, this oh, beer yeah, is. Too, so. Oh, hey, you want to add another one? Yeah, we can. Sure. Yeah, no, it's... it's well, it is very, uh, very malty. It's got a good malty mm -hmm. taste to it. Without being too sweet. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I don't find like it uh, it jeopardizes any um, any sweetness for it. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. All right, so uh, this award goes to the best bit. Now, mm. if you're a regular here, you know that we have plenty of good bits. Um, most people would say fantastic bits, the best bits, <laughs> the biggest bits, the funniest bits. It's true, I've seen them. The hugest bits. Um, and uh, this one is really, really hard to um, narrow down into a best category. However, um, I think this was decided um, by a number of factors. Mostly, it's, the, it's a bit that it's like, it's, it, we fall back on it every time and it, it's never not fun and <laughs> it's always gold um, and uh, if you've been watching the show for a long time you're familiar, familiar enough with it so yeah. with all that rambling uh, out of the way the best uh, the award for the best bit uh, goes to the bottle cap explosion bit oh congratulations bottle cap explosion many explosions many caps have met their demise at the hand of a nuclear explosion in the desert at some unknown location. Yeah, yeah. And we want to thank each and every one of those explosions for doing its job. Congratulations, <laughs> explosions. You did a great job. Yeah, yeah. I think explosions, you know, deserve their recognition, too. Because they, 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 yeah, yeah. they give it their all when they explode. Yeah, you know, yeah. they really do. They sacrifice everything. <laughs> everything to do <laughs> what they do. Here's a look back on some of the um, the past bottle cap explosions throughout the show. There's a couple of them. <laughs> Not a twist. Haven't had one of these in a while. Hold on, Matt. Oops, sorry for I, that. I got you. I got that you. That explosion. Oh. Explosion. Oh. I will. Oh. I'm mutilated. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, I I thought it was that doesn't quite do anything, I don't think. <laughs> Welcome back, and yeah, so it's a good are, bit. It's a good bit. We're moving on down the line. We're, we're, we're um, moving down the lunch line. We're moving down the lunch line. You know, you got your tray, and you, you got know, some peas right now. It's mashed potatoes. You just, see the pork chops down there. So right. We're not at the pork chop yet. You're trying to get there, but the, the kid in front of you can't make up his mind. You know, is it the yeah. pudding cup or is it the fruit? I mean, like, decisions, decisions, Carl. We only have like 30 minutes for lunch. <laughs> anyway. So we're on our way to the pork chop. At the end of the lunch line. And speaking of pork chops, let's go ahead and take a look at our next category, which is not something you want in a pork chop. This is going to be the award for the best sour of the season. Ooh, no. You, you don't, don't want, want any sour, sour pork. pork. Chop. No, no. I don't think that that would end well for you and or anyone else. No, I don't think so either. I don't think so either, Matt. But... We did have some some pretty um, sour pork chops on this. Some pretty <laughs> some pretty sour pork chops in this uh, in this rendition of the sours this season. We did. We we all we had some really good ones. We did, and we had a, 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 again another unintentional frequency of sours. Um, we had some Flemish sours. Yeah, we did end up having quite a few this season. Where some seasons we'll have maybe one or two, and then that's mm-hmm. that's all she wrote. Mm-hmm. So, with that being said, it's only fair that we award the best sour of season seven. And that award goes to Roddenbach. Hey, Roddenbach. That one was our, by far our favorite uh, sour. It was both sour and pleasant after the fact. It, it abused you, but then it coddled you a little bit after, <laughs> and you, it kind of made you forget about the abuse prior. Uh, reminds me of my old soccer coach. Oh, Mr. Filling. Yeah, yeah. you remember Mr. Yeah, Filling. Yeah, Mr. Filling. <laughs> yeah. 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 He had a way with throwing those cleats at you. He really did. <laughs> Boy, did he. Yep. You know what he always used to say? You remember he used to say oh, that thing? Oh, I remember. What was it? What I was remember. it he used to say? <laughs> he always used to tell me, hey, kid, keep your pants on. That, see? He used to tell me that, and then he said, hey, kid, catch. And he would throw the, <laughs> a bunch of cleats at me yep. all tied together. Yep. Yeah, oh, I never caught Mr. them. Filling, Mr. Filling. I haven't thought about Mr. Filling in years. Yeah, it's, it's been a weird uh, a weird time. Who knows what ever happened to him? Man, I don't know. Anyway. Maybe he's throwing cleats somewhere up in the sky. I hope he's somebody. throwing cleats at the angels. Yeah, I hope he's throwing <laughs> cleats at the angels, too. He is the angel in the outfield. <laughs> he is, and he's got cleats with him, too, man. He can make a cleat do something I never thought it... I never saw a cleat fold like a boomerang when it would come at you. I don't know how he did it. No, to this day, I'm still petrified at the sight of I soccer s- cleats. I see a cleat, and I scream. A high-pitched yeah, female yeah. scream, and I somebody scream, thinks... I scream, and I pull my pants down at the same time. <laughs> see? That's weird. I got over the pants thing, but I still scream like a girl, and everybody thinks a lady's in distress. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's anyway. get, oh, uh, Mr. Filling. All right. Ooh, okay, this is a good one. Ooh. Um, so this award goes to the, um, in our opinion, the most sessionable beer Ooh. of the season. So yeah. this is the, the, the beer that uh, we think is, like, the one that you would want to just knock back. Yeah, the one, again, the one that you, again, always, again. you always look for here. Let me top oh, you yeah, off. Oh, yeah, top me off there, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stop. <laughs> anyway. That's enough. That's enough there. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> People, the award for the most sessionable beer of season seven goes to Tusker Lager. Wow. That, that was a hands down. Tusker sure. Lager. I don't know how fast I drank Tusker. Tusker. Yeah. Can you? Can you dig it? <laughs> can you dig it? Can you dig it? <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. Out of Kenya, Africa, um, that yes. one, we haven't been able to find it since, oddly enough. Mm, um, it was a rare diamond in the rough. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's mm. funny. You know, it's been sitting there for years and years at the store, and I, I finally decided to bring it home for us to try, mm-hmm. and 
We try it, and hmm. literally, that's you know, the next time I go back for the next episode, it's gone. I can't even get mm-hmm. it to pick. That's how the cards fall all the time. Yeah. You fall in love. And Tusker they... is, isn't seasonal. Right. So it why be. is it gone? Yeah. You know, I Availability, know. maybe. Who knows? But that one was very good. You remember how fast I drank that one? Yes, it was record time. Yeah, for it was the, record time. It was probably a record for the show. That 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 probably could have gotten an award for the most quickest Dude, uh, you could have. chug or something. Right, yeah. Honestly, like, ooh, and it was good. I yes. really hope we get it again. Yeah, it was a very full-bodied lager. Yes. It was yes. very tasty. I feel like I have a cut on my arm. I was oh, like, man, oh. I hate when I feel like that. Yeah, I was like, I feel like it's, there should be blood there, but there's not. So I don't know what that's there about. There will be blood. <laughs> sometimes there's not, you know? <laughs> there you remember be, that movie? There will be blood. <laughs> In parentheses, sometimes there's not, mm. though. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the tagline on the movie poster. There will be blood. Sometimes there's not. Except for sometimes there's not. <laughs> Except for sometimes there's not. <laughs> Oh, wow, we're getting down to the last, oh, the the last two awards already. Oh, wow, we just sat down. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Next is going to be the most viewed episode of the season. Oh, yeah. There, um, there usually is a most viewed episode of the season. Um, many times you guys are very loud and proud about which episodes you love. And it makes it really easy in a lot of cases. In this this case, it was also, mm-hmm. while it was a close run at yeah. parts, yeah. Um, there also it, it it did speak volumes as far as what you guys are interested in versus you know what we what we're drinking. That being said, the most viewed episode of the season goes to <laughs> Ha Pontoon Brewings Tall, Dark, and Smoky Porter. Shout out to Phillips wow. Barbecue. That's uh, that, Sheed. That's two awards. Shout for- out to Sheed. And he did see our comment. Yeah. And he did uh, go ahead and comment on there. Yeah. So shout out to you, sir. Yeah, yeah. That's the second award for yeah. Pontoon. Tonight. Congratulations, they Pontoon. They truly, truly were the brewery of the season tonight. You were. You did, you did great things this season. And we made sure to acknowledge that for you. So thank you yeah. for sharing that experience with us. Absolutely. Before we get to the last award of the mm-hmm. evening, if you haven't, now is a great time to go ahead and give the Academy Awards a good old likey-like down there. Be sure to click that thumb and like the, the video. Yeah, if you're new to YouTube, it, uh, it looks like this. It looks a lot like the things that we have on our hands. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. And then I, I'm going to click the button. All right. You should do that because we look alike and I'm fine with it. Hello, sir. Me, sir. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Um, I noticed that you clicked the like button, but yes. you should also click that bell button at the top. That is a great idea. I am so glad you said that, sir. That is also a great idea. If you'd like to be notified when new episodes of Legit Brew Reviews come out, clicking that bell will be sure to let you know when the algorithm fails you, and it does let you know that a new episode has been put up. You're here. Okay. Are we ready now for the last? Do we any commercial breaks? Are we, uh, are we ready for the last episode? Uh, are you, everyone, everyone back uh, from the nacho stand? Yeah. Nobody's in the bathroom. Nothing. Nothing like that. I, I, I'm hearing in my headset that we we should be good to go. Um, okay. If we can just have security lock the building down yeah, now. Yeah. We can lock the lock the doors. Um, don't let anyone smart. out. Yeah. Nobody. Everybody's got to stay. Because this award is this is the last award. This, so we don't want anyone to miss it. We so, don't yeah. want anybody bailing out now. You should have left. Long before now. That one and that one. Lock the doors. The other ones, yeah. All right. Both locks. Okay. All right. So, without any more interruptions, let's go ahead and get into the final award. The final award. Of the already. fourth annual LBR's uh, Academy Awards. And if you are no, if you're no stranger to the award show, you already you might have some idea what this award is. It is the award for the best other beer show. This is an award. Ooh. This is the highest award that we give every season. Every awards ceremony. Um, and usually it is. This is. I mean, in all honesty, this is the hardest award to do mm-hmm. um, because we want to recognize the hard work. Of, of other beer shows. And we know uh, just how difficult it is to manage a show, manage a, uh, a, a YouTube channel um, that is so niche, as niche as a beer review channel. Mm-hmm. And we know 
what Matt does on this channel isn't necessarily strictly beer reviews. Um, nevertheless, we do understand some of the trials and tribulations that, you know, beer reviewers go through. Um, so with this award, we just want to kind of uh, shine a spotlight on some of the hardworking content creators that are out there doing the same thing that we do. And um, in, some, in some instances, um, beyond what we do. Mm -hmm. So uh, tonight we want to honor um, this hardworking individual for uh, a job well done, a pat on the back. Uh, the award for Best Other Beer Show goes to Wayne of Wayne's Beer Delivery. There it goes. Congratulations, there it goes. Wayne. Well deserved. Uh, the man runs, uh, he's part of a he podcast. He runs a tight ship. Right, he <laughs> runs a tight ship. Um, you know, he's part of a podcast. Yeah, and yeah. Upstate he also, Beer Boys. Yeah, Upstate Beer Boys podcast, available on all uh, podcasting platforms. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, it's, um, your work doesn't go unnoticed, Wayne. You drink some awesome beers. You've been a valid participant. Um, I think we may have an acceptance speech from Wayne. Oh, we do. Um, is that true? Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. Let's go ahead and um, yeah. Well, let's let's send it over to Wayne then. Hey, everybody. I just want to thank the Academy uh, Committee for awarding me the best other beer show. Thank you so much. Matt and Trevor. It means so, so, so much to me. Thanks again. Cheers. Can't wait for season eight. All right. Well, awesome. Fantastic. And again, congratulations, Wayne, on a well deserved award. Very well. Awesome. Like Trevor said, it's never easy to decide on the best other beer show because obviously we can't give it to ourselves. So we do want to give it to the other the best other beer shows that are out there and there are quite a few and we can't unfortunately give the award to so many of you so we're glad when we can award it uh to each and every one of you that's right and there's there are plenty of other fantastic um beer related channels out there content creators um just yeah. do a search of like your favorite beer or beers that you like in the search bar and you'll be surprised what channels you'll find or reviewing your beers and who knows you might find someone out there that sort of clicks with you right um, that's that's the biggest way to do it you know yeah we want to thank you guys. <laughs> well bye right all right well let's just go ahead and uh, <laughs> yeah. we only got the hall for a couple yeah. hours yeah oh, uh, i gotta actually i gotta go <laughs> trevor's gotta go <laughs> Um, in the middle of the show. Um, we definitely want to thank all of you that have consistent, consistently, that's always a fun word to say, uh, consistently supported the show from the beginning or even if it wasn't from the beginning, from you know a particular season, um, and you've consistently watched and supported the show. Uh, it means a lot. Uh, this, you know, this is an undertaking to do the show. We love doing the show. Um, but uh, as much as we do it for me and Trevor, we also do it for... You guys that do thoroughly look forward to the episodes every weekend and uh, with all the different schedule situations we got to avoid and go around and all that kind of stuff. So we want to thank you guys. Um, also want to take the time out to thank Trevor. Um, again, without him, it would just be me reviewing beer, which would not be Legit Brew Reviews. Uh, this guy is as much part of Legit Brew Reviews as I am. Um, even though it, it, the show lives on my channel, um, like I said, that this show is as much his show as it is mine. Um, and I always make sure that that is an acknowledged thing. So I definitely want to thank him for all his efforts that he's put into the show and all these award shows that we've done every year. You know, this is now the fourth one. And uh, a lot of great memories were made on these award shows. A lot of really fun, fun things have been uh, done in these seasons and um at this point you know the uh to see where legit brew reviews goes from here you know is is just kind of uh just a, a little bit up in the air right now so we're gonna kind of see where things go and um you know we'll uh do like we uh always have we will continue to evolve uh the legit brew reviews brand mm -hmm. So a lot, of, um, a lot of thinking on our feet going on here. Yeah, a lot <laughs> of different things going on. So 
Uh, as always, whenever we do have these award shows, it's a happy, sad time. Uh, it's the end of a season. Uh, we essentially build up our seasons every year. Um, you know, every couple of months that we're doing our seasons, we build them up, and then unfortunately, we have to bury them. Mm -hmm. And it's we're not like, a we're like the avatars from the Lost Ark. Yeah, it's, we come around for a while, things are great, and then all of a sudden, uh, when you need us most, we're gone. Right, and then we have to, you know, we we build this thing up, and then we have to kind of, you know. Put it, put it down, if you will, in a uh, very uh, old yeller. Yeah, we, <laughs> we gotta, to, we gotta take some, oh, season seven out. Gotta to take it out to pasture <laughs> and, and put it in the archives, man. That's where it'll forever live. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But it was, you know what? This was a fantastic season. Um, I had a lot of fun this season. Yeah. Um, and uh, I gotta thank you first and foremost for all of your help. Uh, we work out in the other than the legal team. You know, we got an award tonight. Very well deserved. Um, uh, this man is is the machine behind everything, you know, everything that you're seeing um, tonight. So you know that that needs to be recognized and and uh, applauded for. So you know, leave a leave a comment in the chat. How much you know? You know let's, let's let's give Matt a round of applause. Sure. Yeah, um, and and don't don't let the bits go under notice either. Those are not those are organic as organic comes. <laughs> so we actually have to um, hold back yeah. quite a lot. Which yeah. going forward with the show, things may change. Right, right. Less less of dialing back on the bits and maybe more more of the bits so more, more of just how we <laughs> how we just are organic yeah that's yeah. that'll that'll be fun that'll be fun to look forward to right um but yeah um I, I i guess that's every everybody you guys know who you are by this point this is no new season if you're just now joining us if this is the first time you're finding out about us uh, do yourself a favor and go back through. Uh, we do have the seasons categorized in seasons. Yeah, so that's good thinking. Yeah. Playlist, yeah, you can <laughs> follow them through. Uh, we promise they do get better. Um, our first couple of seasons were a little bit adaptive. We were yeah. having to figure things out. But and look, look, in um, my opinion, skip. Just go ahead and overall skip season one. <laughs> yeah, one, one is definitely the one rockiest. Is, one is like the OG fans will really appreciate one. Yeah, we drank some good beers in one. We honestly, we did. Yeah. And I would love to revisit some of those Boddingtons. Yeah. Every time I There's see Boddingtons at the store, I want to revisit it. I loved the stuff we did with the widgets. There's a mm -hmm. lot that I would love to revisit. Yeah. Um, but no, no, go, go back and watch season one. And then, you know, the show. Yeah, you can see how in, we, evo we evolve. with every season. Yeah, we um, evolve. So, yeah. And we'll only be evolving from this point further. It's only going to get better. So <laughs> I think that's all that we have. That's we're, all we got. We got a pitcher and a half to drink. We're finishing up this beer before we get kicked out of here. Yeah. And um, until the next time we're drinking with you guys. As always, I am Matt. I'm Trevor. And this has been the fourth annual Academy Awards. Cheers, guys. Be sure to get home safe. And uh, if you've been drinking, go ahead and call an Uber or something because uh, we don't want you to not make it to your destination. You, you, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. You know Amen. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll be drinking with you guys here soon. Take care. See you guys next season.